Like Annie Oakley, Lillian Smith learned to shoot a rifle when she was barely big enough to hold it. Like Annie Oakley, Lillian Smith started competing in shooting contests before the age of 15. And like Annie Oakley, Lillian Smith impressed upon Wild West show owner Buffalo Bill Cody that she needed to be in his show. But that is where the similarities end and the rivalry between the two women begins. Annie Oakley had become the darling of the Wild West show besting her male sharpshooting counterparts at every turn, and her place in the show is on solid footing. Modest in both her appearance and comportment, Annie couldn't have been more different than this upstart teenager who used coarse language and wore flashy clothing, something Annie probably could have tolerated until Lillian started bragging that Annie Oakley was done for, now that she had joined the show. The rivalry began. Annie even started to tell the press she was born in 1866 instead of 1860 to narrow the age gap between the two. The two traveled with the Wild West show to England to perform at Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee. Annie was further irritated when she was criticized in the press for first shaking the hand of Alexandra, Princess of Wales, before that of her husband Bertie, England's future King Edward, even though Lillian did the same. When Annie was presented to Queen Victoria, a drawing in an illustrated newspaper showed Lillian being presented instead. But most vexing of all was a letter published in an American newspaper claiming that in England, Annie Oakley was being left out in the cold. This, of course, was not true. Annie was still getting the lion's share of press, and on the field at Wimbledon, Annie Oakley bested Lillian Smith hands down and got a personal congratulation from the Prince of Wales. Nevertheless, the rivalry and the lack of support from Buffalo Bill Cody was too much for Annie to bear. She left the show at the end of the London run. Back home, Smith was ridiculed for her performance at Wimbledon, and allegations surfaced that she was cheating in her Wild West act. Finally, Cody realized Smith would never have the same show business appeal as Annie. Smith left the show in 1889, and Annie came back, just in time for the Columbian World's Fair in Chicago. In the first two novels of my Annie Oakley mystery series, Girl with a Gun and Peccadillo at the Palace, I have fun with this rivalry between these two female sharpshooting sensations. You can find the books on Amazon. <laughs>